hi welcome to an absolutely stunning day in Chesterfield we've got a little project that we're going to do today and it's all regarding the backy shower behind me as you can see it's a 540 mil wide backy shower and it's made by Evolve Showers what I've got is a larger one a meter wide one and some new media to go in it as well to top it up so what we're going to do is dismantle the shower disconnect the pipe work install the new shower and then fill it up with media before I get stuck into the video if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button down in the bottom corner if anybody's interested in any Akoi enthusiast merchandise with the logos embroidered on it whether it be t-shirts beanies or anything like that please check out the link for the store in the description below just before it gets too warm I'm going to dismantle the shower behind me and make a start on installing the new shower So this is a media that I'm going to put into the uh, shower. It's Shiguri Bacteria Home or Shigur Bacteria. It's a Dutch product and it says premium quality for infrared bacteria home. The smaller ones, 160 by 40 mil. They're very light. So all I'm going to do is just tip them in and see what uh, it looks like. What I've done is put one box in and I've spread them across the bottom evenly and then turned them 90 degrees and filled the edges. The reason why I'm doing that is if I put them in randomly it looks like there's going to be some air pockets where the water is just going to track straight through and take the easy tree line and go through the media. If I do a couple of layers like this at least the water's got to build up. It might go down the sides but it will build up and some of it will go through the thing. And then the next box I'm just going to scatter loose down the top. The plan was to use the original backy house media and pumice from the existing backy shower but I think I've got too much of the new media in so I'm going to shuffle through this lot, get the BHM in the bottom of the top tray and have the pumice around it.
Thanks a lot for watching the video. As you see now of my shoulder, we have a three-tier backy shower with a mixture of media ranging from pumice through to two different types of uh, backy house media. I'm going to monitor the nitrate readings over the next three weeks just to see if it's slowly in improve and also monitor the growth of the Mind Your Own Business that I've inserted on there. I'm guessing some of it's going to die off, some of it's going to thrive, but I've got plenty left over so I can fill up the gaps and help it establish. One thing I noticed on the flow rate with the old backy shower, I was only getting 5,100 litres an hour of water over the backy shower. I've now increased to a one metre uh, backy shower, which obviously gives more outlets, more holes in the pipework. The flow rate has increased to nearly 9,000. The head the pump is pumping, it's possibly about a metre, but it also goes through a pressure filter. So it's going to reduce the f a potential flow from 20,000 litres down to probably 10,000 litres with the uh, one metre head but again through the pressure filter you're going to have more restrictions and a couple of bends at there so that probably equates to the 8,900 litres an hour I'm getting through. Thanks a lot for watching the video, if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. If you enjoyed the video please hit the like button. If you've got any questions or comments write them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, happy ponding!